And this is what prayer does. What is prayer? Glad you asked. Prayer is simply talking to God about what he said. That's all, that's all prayer is. It, it's a dialogue with God about what he says. Okay? Uh, and I know you're thinking, but I, I remember praying, God help me! God help me, please! Please help me, God! All that is simply is doing is, is talking to God about the scripture that says, whosoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you in trouble? <laughs> Help me, Lord! <laughs> because what you're saying is, I read where you said you was going to help me. So it's simply talking to God about what he said. And allowing God to give you clear instructions about what he said. If you're at a board meeting with the CEO, and the CEO says, I want you to give me a report on the, uh, the earnings that we made this quarter. All right? You'll get back to your desk, and you're confused, and you're lost. You don't know exactly which direction you're going to go in. Who would you go talk to? Would you go talk to the CEO or to the janitor? <laughs> I mean, it's only common sense that you would not go to the janitor to talk about the instructions the CEO gave you. Mm -hmm. One, the, the, the janitor was not in that meeting with you. Okay? And if he was, they might need to work out his schedule so that he's not cleaning when there's people in the room. <laughs> it's hard to clean people in the room. He wasn't there. He was not privy to the knowledge that you have. All he can be like, man, that's messed up. That you don't understand what the CEO said do. Mm -mm. Do you go to a, a, a fellow vice president? Because mm -mm. they're going to be like, mm -mm. I didn't want to do it. I'm glad he told you. <laughs> you ever been like that? I, I know a particular person. I ain't going to name no name. That when we found out somebody got an assignment, was like, whew. Glad it ain't me. I ain't naming no names, though. <laughs> because that's how we respond. I mean, if if, if God told you to uh, give up red meat, I'd be like, mm, that's messed up. Uh, give me a Whopper with cheese. <laughs> Double the red meat on my please. Because it ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay? Stop. So we don't go to other people. We go to the one that gave us the instructions about what he wants us to do. And if he told you to do something, you talk to him about it. You don't, you don't go to anybody else. You talk to him about it. And when you do that, what you do is you allow yourself to soak in the very essence of what God wants out of you. Mm -hmm. Because you can't accomplish what God wants you to do without him. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no way. Okay, so uh, if I if I ask Mackenzie to, uh, I want you to clean out that top shelf of your closet, and she like, but I'm four foot eight. That's seven foot tall. How do you expect for me to get that done? Okay, she's not gonna go to DJ. He's shorter than she is. <laughs> she's gonna come back to me and be like, mm -mm, I I really can't. You're gonna have to help me. And I'm going to have to show her how I want her to accomplish what I commanded her to do. I'm going to have to help her because she can't do it alone. And this is what prayer does in the life of the believer. It, having the tools is great. But unless you really have the oil of the anointing of God in your life, you will never be able to mobilize what God wants you. So actually put it into action, and this is what prayer does. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, I tell people this all the time. It's not that I don't like to pray. It's not that I don't enjoy praying. I struggle with prayer because it's difficult for me to focus. It's difficult for me to get past the superficial and get into really 
really what God wants me to do in prayer. So I struggle with prayer. So when I'm praying, oh, it's real. Because it's not easy for me. Now, my wife, my wife is a prayer warrior. And I really don't know where we would be without her praying. If it were up to me, up to my prayers, we just, I mean, things have gotten bad, but I mean, really? It'd be like, you're supposed to be a Christian? That don't look Christian-like at all. Not Christ-like in the least bit, because my prayer life wouldn't have gotten us over. I thank God for my wife's prayer. But I am learning that prayer is not as superficial as we make it to be. Mm -hmm. So let's look. 